So there I was, sitting in my bed, hanging out with my girlfriend, watching Pokemon World Championships, as you do, and I saw that there was some news about Scarlet and Violet. So I, I think today we're just going to go ahead and take the opportunity to talk about this news. So yeah, uh, welcome back to the channel. If you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe and turn on notifications because I bring you daily VGC content or just competitive Pokemon, whatever. Anyways, let's just hop right into it. There's a lot of cool stuff to talk about um, with the news that they dropped and some of it while they did release like a, a video displaying like some new items and stuff, some of it uh, you can only see on the website. So obviously be sure to check out the website if you want to look at this yourself, but we'll be doing a quick little look at it. So yeah, this is something that they sort of do uh, at every world championships where there is a new game coming out the next uh, the next year uh, What they'll do is they'll have like an entire little mini presentation of news and stuff uh, almost Exclusively directed towards competitive players. So this is super exciting uh, Let's let's just go ahead and read through this uh, new items that make battles even more exciting These items can be held by Pokemon to trigger a variety of effects how you use them or how you use them may mean the difference between victory and defeat. Use them in conjunction with Pokemon moves and Terrastalizing to achieve victory. So we have one, two, three items. And only the top and bottom one were actually shown in the stream. So you guys are going to learn something new about this one, uh, which is my favorite new item. But yeah. So the Mirror Herb, once per game, uh, this will allow the holder to mirror an opponent's stat increases, but not its decreases. So what I assume uh, this does is... Like, if you switch in on a Pokemon, you copy its its stat increases, but not, like, you you don't have to do it, like, the how do I say it? You don't ha I, I'm assuming you don't have to be on the field when it happens. So, like, they show an Azumarill using Belly Drum, uh, and then the, uh, what's this thing called? I forget, uh, Satitan. The Satitan copies its stat changes. What I'm assuming this will work like is even if the Satitan switches in, like, two turns later, it will copy the stat changes then if, like, the Azumarill you know, belly drummed earlier on in the match. Uh, but obviously it's an herb item. Herbs only work once per game. Something that's gonna be kind of funny is let's say that you're facing an opposing Xerneas that is going for like power herb uh, geomancy. If you're gonna be like like a, like a real gamer, right? Let's say that you don't wanna, you know, live, live life in, in the slow lane. Let's say you wanna be crazy. You can run the mirror herb and switch in on their Xerneas and boom, you didn't even have to Geomancy. Now you both have a stupidly powerful Xerneas. Obviously, that's a bad idea. Just run power herb. It's so much better. But uh, this could be kind of interesting for like counter sweeping Pokemon. Uh, I guess a hypothetical situation would be this Azumarill. Let's say that you have a Pokemon that has quick attack and is faster than Azumarill. And Azumarill is like very, very, very common in the metagame. And it, it is a belly drum set, uh, which honestly in early meta, for uh, regional decks, Azumarill is probably going to be super common. So let's say Belly Drum Azumarill is super common and you have a quick attack Pokemon. You switch in on it before it can even use its like attacks and you copy it. And now your quick attack goes before their Aqua Jet and you're going to just KO it. And now you have a scary Pokemon. So that could be kind of cool. Uh, I don't think it's going to be super, super important. However, I think that this is probably going to be the most important item that we get from this presentation. What is that? I don't know what that is. Anyways, so the Covert Cloak. This hooded cloak conceals the user, protecting it from the additional effects of moves. So what that means is that, let's say an opponent goes for Thunder Wave or Spore. You're still going to get put to sleep. You're still going to be paralyzed. But let's say an opponent goes for Thunder Punch. You're never going to get paralyzed. Ice Punch, you're never going to get frozen. Ice Beam, you're never going to get frozen. That sort of thing. Rock Slide will never flinch you. This is a super important item for hacks reduction. But more importantly than that, they show the primary function of it, in my opinion. There's a Hariyama using Fake Out, and this thing never flinches. Fake Out is one of the most important moves in competitive Pokemon. In Gen 8, was probably the weakest Fake Out has ever been, due to the fact that it exists in a format where Psychic Terrain is something that could happen, uh, where we have Queenly Majesty Pokemon, and where Dynamax is a way to block Fake Out. With the removal of Dynamax, there's less Fake Out counterplay, which, to be honest, we didn't really need too much Fake Out counterplay. I think we were fine where we were. But this item, I'm perfectly fine with, because this is super cool. This is a preparation item. Let's say that you have a Pokemon um, that really, really, really wants to be supportive immediately, but it isn't like an inner focus Pokemon. It can't prevent flinches naturally. Let's say that you have a Prankster Thunderous, and your Prankster Thunderous wants to be able to always taunt a Trick Room Pokemon or always paralyze a Pokemon turn one. Now, you can put this cloak on that Prankster Thunderous and never get flinched turn one by Fake Out. That's super cool. 
Uh, also, you know, Pokemon like Whimsicott can run this over Focus Sash to guarantee a Tailwind turn one at, at, at the expense of not being able to survive a hit because, you know, Whimsicott's pretty frail. Um, you won't be able to take like a Flare Blitz from Incineroar. That's kind of cool. Uh, it would also make it so like Whimsicott doesn't really need to run Protect anymore. It'll always be able to get the job done. But it, it's it's a trade-off, you know. The, the Focus Sash is generally better because you'll be able to, you know, have an extra turn to do stuff after your Tailwind. But if you want a more reliable Tailwind, this is actually a pretty significant item for that. So yeah. And the Loaded Dice, I don't know if that's going to be a super important move uh, beyond singles. But they do show a Berloom using Loaded Dice Bullet Seed. It just makes it so a multi-strike move is more likely to hit uh, the max amount of times. So yeah, it's it's sort of like Technician. We don't know the likelihood, obviously. This is going to be something that comes out once the uh, the game releases. But I think that if it's like a 50% boost to the likelihood, that's that's like well within like um, well within like the, the percentage chance where it would be a useful item. So yeah, I don't I can't think of anything beyond <laughs> Bullet Seed Berloom being a useful you know, use case for this. Like, Technician Bullet Seed's nice. Uh, Cloyster won't get any use out of this because it has, like, skill link, so it's 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 whatever in that case. So, yeah, these are some pretty incredible items. Hey, guys, post-production Marcos here. Uh, I completely forgot to talk about the new Pokemon, so I'm just going to throw this in at the middle of the video. Uh, yeah, Cyclozar, normal Dragon-type Pokemon. Pretty cool. Ability Shed Skin, so that's pretty useful for, like, blocking burns. He looks like a physical attacker, in my opinion, and one would imagine that it'd be a decently fast Pokemon. I don't know how great it's going to be in the competitive scene. Um, I don't think it's going to be like a legendary Pokemon because from what I can tell, it's super common within lore. So it's probably just going to be like um, like a common Pokemon that you see around in the game. I think it's pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, and also it has a busted new move for singles. I don't know how big Shed Tail is going to be in the... Uh, <laughs> in the VGC scene. However, I could see it being somewhat decent if this Pokemon had access to a lot of support tools. Like if it's a fast fake out Pokemon, which it's a lizard, I would hope it gets fake out. I feel like lizards should have fake out, generally speaking. Even if they don't historically, I think it should have fake out. So if this thing has like fake out and shed tail, I could see it being like a max speed, max HP, a little bit of defense Pokemon where you run like a fake out set and then you shed tail into like a some kind of like belly drum Pokemon or a sword sands Pokemon. That could be very good. Uh, one would imagine that it would also require some kind of redirection support like Clefairy. That could be pretty interesting. So yeah, uh, for the singles gang, shout out singles gang. Uh, I've been getting into your, your formats. Uh, you guys appreciated it last time I acknowledged you guys. So I'm going to do it again. This move is absurd. I think they might ban it from Smogon, uh, depending on how good Cyclozar is, because if Cyclozar is on every single team exclusively to Shed Tail, uh, it might get banned because we already banned Baton Pass. But if we're running <laughs> Baton Pass plus Substitute that cost half your HP, I don't know. Obviously, this thing wants to run like a Citrus Berry too, so you can Shed Tail twice a game without uh, sacrificing your Pokemon or maybe just running like an odd HP stat. That could be interesting. So yeah, uh, Cyclozar. I have said interesting five times, so I'm going to wrap it up with one more. This is an interesting Pokemon. Back to the uh, rest of the video. Um, we do get some more information on terrestrialization. Terrestrializing is a phenomenon in the Paldea region that makes Pokemon shine and glimmer like gems. Terrestrialized Pokemon shine during battles too. The primary feature of terrestrializing in battle is that it changes your Pokemon's type to its Terra type. Pokemon don't outwardly show their Terra type until they terrestrialize. A fact you can uh, take opponents, a fact you can use to take opponents uh, by surprise in battle. Combining Terra types to different moves and abilities uh, open up near infinite strategic possibilities. So. What they show is a Tyranitar, which is, you know, normally rock dark. It'll get one shot by fighting moves, but now it turns into a ghost type avoids close combat. They also show a Colossal terrestrializing into a water type uh, to get steam engine while resisting the hit, which I'm going to be honest with you guys. Water type, terrestrial, Colossal, waste, absolute waste. Here's what you need to do with your Colossal. Turn your Colossal into a pure rock type. Lose the fire type. It's holding you back. Self Aqua Jet, your Colossal. He's got the bulk to live it, and now it's not even times four effective. And you just flinch everything to death with Terrastalized Rock Slide. You know, unless unless they're running the Hooded Cloak, I think you'll be fine. <laughs> Fastest Rock Slide in the game, most powerful after weakness policy. That's going to be cool. So yeah. Uh, and here's the biggest news: Terra Blast. Uh, welcome back, Hidden Power, effectively. Uh, Terra Blast, a new move that shows its power when the user is terrestrialized. Terra Blast is a normal type move that can be learned via a TM. When used by a terrestrialized Pokemon, it becomes the move of the same type of the Pokemon's Terra type and displays its immense might. Use it at the right moment to change the flow of battle. 
And yeah, Terror Blast inflicts damage uh, dependent on the attacker special text set, whichever is higher for the user. So think of it like Photon Geyser. Photon Geyser is both a special attack and a physical attack, and it only chooses it only chooses based upon like which stat is higher. So if you're using a physical attacker, Terror Blast is going to be a physical, you know, category move. Special attacker, it's going to be a, a special move. What I what I'll note from this is I think this pretty much confirms that every Pokemon can have every Terra type. Um, which is something that was debated in the community for a while. Uh, they, they like show specific use cases for specific types on certain Pokemon. And I highly doubt Game Freak went through the trouble of balancing it in such a way where they're like, oh, Colossa will want to be water type, so we're going to make it a water type. Uh, Tyranitar wants to dodge fighting moves, so we'll make it a ghost type. No, these are just like the, the use cases that the average player would think of. Like, this is what you would want to run. Well, not Colossal, I disagree with Colossal, but Tyranitar, that's a really good point. I think that this is sort of a confirmation that you can choose pretty much whatever Terra type you want. Uh, well, not choose, but find a Pokemon with whatever Terra type you want and then change it into that. I don't know how I feel about Terra Blast. Terra Blast is kind of interesting. Uh, Hidden Power was capped at 70 base power. I have a feeling they're going to make this like 80, and I hope it's no higher than 80. I hope it's no higher than 60, personally. I think that'd be great. Um... But notably, it only it only changes like type. You only get like the the type effect when you terastalize. So it's not like you can stay, you know, rock type Tyranitar and then hit something with a ghost type Terra Blast. You need to terastalize to use it, which I think balances it a little bit more. If you're able to just use like hidden power with like a higher base power, I think that wouldn't be quite as balanced. So yeah. Um, obviously certain Pokemon will want to run Terra Blast, some Pokemon won't. I don't think it's gonna be like the highest used. Thing on every Pokemon ever, uh, but it's something you gotta look out for, so I appreciate that. Uh, what else is there to note? Uh, I think that was pretty much it. You know, we saw Terra Blast, we saw that. Uh, there's a whole video if you guys want to check it out more in depth, uh, but I just wanted to give my thoughts. I, I guess a good way to wrap this up is uh, ranking the items. Covert Cloak is going to be incredible in VGC. I don't know how good it's going to be in singles, but in VGC, this is huge. It's just like an anti fake out thing. Uh, Loaded Dice is probably the worst item. And Mirror Herb is going to have its uses. I, I can't think of like an, another use case other than like singles players using it to counter sweet belly drum Pokemon. Um, but I suppose you could do something like uh, Swagger, Prankster, Physical Attacker, Pokemon like Thunderous. Like let's say you use like a Physical Thunderous, you Swagger a Pokemon and they're like a Special Attacker. Oh no, you know, Special Attacker is now confused and it has a useless attack boost. Oh, I'm copying it and now I'm going to hit you with Wild Charge. I think that's like the only real use case for it in doubles uh and maybe in singles i guess is like the more common place for it but yeah and terrestrialization i'm perfectly fine with what's going on right now we still need to see the power of terra blast for me to get a clear opinion on it for the most part i think many pokemon will just want to terra type into what they already have to get the extra power in their moves like colossal turning into a rock type uh or you know i guess flareon turning into a fire type Things like Tyranitar will probably want to turn into different types since its type is what's seriously holding it back. Dragonite's going to be a huge terrestrialization Pokemon in my opinion since uh, it doesn't really use its uh, dragon or flying type to any great effect. It'll probably want to be like a like a, an electric type or even like a fire type. It has a lot of uses. So yeah, those are just my thoughts on the news that we got today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I wanted to be quick and to the point about this video because I, I just got home from my trip and I am very tired. So yeah, have a nice night and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.